two years ago when Hands Off Our Elephants started the campaign, would you have thought, Paula, that two years later, people are being fined, people are being jailed, foreigners as well? Uh, we, <laughs> Jeff, when we started the campaign, we were very ambitious. We expected things to be far, far better than they are today. Mm -hmm. We expected there to be major reforms in the wildlife sector. We expected wild, the Kenya Wildlife Service to have been totally overhauled and restructured so that it was effective given this new world of international wildlife crime. The, the organization is the same way it was constructed in the 1980s. It can't operate when in these new, with these new threats. Yeah. Um, we also expected to see wildlife crimes international wildlife crimes being handled in the high court, not in magistrate's courts. You can imagine what happens in magistrate's courts. It's very easy for magistrates to dismiss cases, to find the evidence is lacking, investigations are not done very well. I mean, rhino horns go missing from our courts. That's how bad it is. If these were handled as, as high, co high court cases, the way that lands issues are dealt with, or the way international crimes are dealt with, I think we'd see much more progress. We've, for the first time in our history, we have wildlife traffickers under arrest in this country. Now, all eyes around the world are on the Mombasa court. Faisal Muhammad Ali has been arrested. He's been in jail since uh, December of last year. We now have uh, Abdul Rahim Sheikh and his two sons. They are also in Mombasa. They're, the success of those prosecutions, which are being, you know, the, the DPP and his team are working very hard to uh, secure convictions. But it depends on the quality of the evidence. It depends on the way that the ju judiciary is operating. Uh, we've got a long way to go. Yeah.